Defining the mean from a group data table. Group data tables can be given to several questions, such as mean, histograms, and cumulative frequency. We're going to estimate finding the mean. On this chart, there are test scores from 0 to 120 grouped together. So not to 7 people scored from 0 to 10, and 11 people scored from 10 to 30, all the way up to 3 people scoring between 100 and 120. To find the mean, I need to add two more columns. We're going to take an estimate. So we're going to find, first of all, the midpoint. And you can remember the word midpoint because it starts with the same letter as mean. And then we're going to multiply these two together, the frequency and the midpoint. So you can remember mean, midpoint, and multiply. I need to find the midpoint between 0 and 10, which is 5. Between 10 and 30 is 20. Between 30 and 50 is 40. Between 50 and 60 is 55. Between 60 and 80 is 70. Between 80 and 100 is 90. And between 100 and 120 is 110. I now need to multiply the frequency by the midpoint to fill in the fourth column. So I multiply 7 by 5 to give me 35. 11 multiplied by 20 is 220. 14 multiplied by 40 is 560. 16 multiplied by 55 is 880. 20 multiplied by 70 is 1400. 9 multiplied by 90 is 810. And finally, 3 multiplied by 110 is 320. Finding the estimate of a mean is normally worth about 3 or 4 marks. So it's definitely worth showing your method as you've gone along. Because even if I forget what I'm doing now, I've scored two, one or two marks by filling in these two columns. Next, I need to find the total of the frequency column. So I'm going to add all these up together to give me 80. Sometimes it will tell you in the question, it will say 80 people took a test. So you just check that you've got the same number here. And now I need to add together the final column, which is a frequency times midpoint column. And that gives me a total of 4,235. Now, to find the mean, I need to divide the fourth column total by the second column total. So that's 4,235 divided by 80, which gives me an answer of 52.9375. I'm going to round this answer. And because this digit here is 7, is larger than 5, I'm going to round up. And my final answer will be 52.94.